Hello everyone, this is Jeannie Ellis, also known as Scrapbooking Mama. Today I want to share with you my very first project as a design team member with Crafters Castle. So stay tuned, I'll be right back. And today what I'm going to be sharing with you is a project that I'm going to be using the images from MHK Designs, the Butterfly Wisdom Group. Now, this one is the Butterfly 1, this one's Butterfly 2, and this one's Butterfly 3. This one looks like a monarch to me, so I'm going to be kind of coloring it with the kind of yellows and orange to, oranges to it. So the first thing I'm going to do is start coloring with my yellow. This yellow is called Canary Yellow. Now, I could do this as a Viceroy butterfly instead if I want to because it looks so much like a monarch. But I'm just going to kind of color all over the yellow for now. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and get my yellow ochre. Make sure that's what I've got. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to go ahead and start going up in here. Just kind of random. Okay, now I am going to get my orange. So I'm going to go ahead and shade in my orange. And I'm going to finish this up and color all, color both of the, well, the other two also. So I'm going to finish this up, color these two, and then I'll be back. Okay, I am now back to show you the final putting together of this project. Uh, in the previous step, I showed you that I was going to glue this together, this uh, cage together. And I also thought I'd go ahead and add in a flower. It was a white flower that I tinted, and I added a few leaves to it. And my leaves are in the front here, so that way I'll know that this is the front of my box. So now what I'm going to do is go ahead and add my butterflies and, and some embellishments to it. And uh, I believe, you know, what all I need is what you see right here, plus some stamens that I'm going to probably use. Sometimes I get these together, and then it's not exactly what I wanted. Now, I also have my sentiment here, which is the one that says, spread your wings and reach for the sky. Now, more than likely, I'm going to cut this out, and I'll put it probably, rather than in the front, I'll probably, I may put it here. And or I may put it on the side somewhere, but let me go ahead and cut that out and I'll be right back. Okay, now I've got everything colored up. The, the colors are on, the, uh, the stickles and the glass glitter is on, so, and it's all dried up. So the next thing I want to do is to go ahead and get my project done. So what I thought would be nice would be using a cage that I cut out from the Silhouette software program and this one I use a metallic and it looks more like a bronze color so what I need to do next is to go ahead and glue it together and I have already pre-folded everything so it won't take as long now the thing of it is with this is that it would be so easy to put the fold on the outside but when you do that then it's going to look funny the other way so this is where I have to be very careful. Now I'm going to take my art glitter glue here and I'm going to put some glue right here on the end. Now it came out pretty fast. I didn't realize it would. So I'm going to kind of spread it over just so that it'll be nice and put together. Whoops. And it does dry pretty fast. It's just I got a little impatient there. So glue it all together, and being metallic, you're going to have to hold it down a little bit more anyway. So I'm going to go ahead and glue it all together, and then I'll be back to show you what I'm going to do with it. And the supplies you see here are, of course, my sentiment, my three butterflies here. I'll go ahead and get this together, and the first thing that I'm going to do, for, of course, is add my bow. 
so that way I can tell where I'm going to put embellishments because your bow really kind of needs to be um, layered underneath so things can be layered on top. Now I'm going to trim off the the end of this ribbon a little bit. Here is my ribbon and I like to play with it a little bit just to see which side I like the best and I pull it in some and then I kind of tighten it down and then I just kind of keep working with it until I've got it to where I want it. So now I'm going to hot glue the bottom of the bow and I'm going to place it right on the edge of that tip there. And if I want to, I can kind of curve this around a little bit onto the cage. Just kind of give it a, a little extra oomph there if I want to. I don't know yet if I will because right now it's not striking me. So, and I really think I need to trim this bow off a little bit more, a lot more actually. So I'm going to go ahead and trim that some more. And trim it here. Take off that glue. I just hate stringy glue, but sometimes it's, not, it's something you got to have. So, okay, before I add this on here or wherever, I'm going to put my embellishments on because I'm not sure exactly where I'm going to use it yet, but it will be used. Unless I put it right here, which is a good spot for it. I'm going to put this flower in the center. <clears throat> Let me see if these go well with it on, on the sides. I really I like that. So now this butterfly, what, what I like to do with my butterflies is kind of bend them a little bit. So it kind of looks like they're fluttering. And if I add this here, that might be too big for that spot there. So let's check out maybe this butterfly and see how it looks together. And I kind of like that. Just had a thought there. I might try something. Yeah. Okay. I may try it. You know, sometimes I get these thoughts right in the middle of something. I'm going, okay, it might not work, and I'm on camera. Okay, now I'm going to add, put this, bend the, the wings of this butterfly. I just love the way they sparkle. Okay. Now this is what I've got. And we've got some uh, weather coming in or something because the lighting is not as good today as it was earlier. So, but I will put pictures at the end of the video and you can see what I've done with it and it'll look a lot better that way. So, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you will try these. These are the images again from MHK Designs. Um, <clears throat> we're we got these as a DT member uh, for Crafter's Castle, and this is just, you know, some of the things that you can do. So be sure to check out our challenge blog. I'll put links in the description box and check out all the design team members. And thank you and have a great day.